Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And today is the day where I live up to a promise that I made almost a month ago. Last month, I gave you some ideas for short nailed holosexuals part one, but at the same time when I filmed them, I also filmed a round two. So it's your lucky day, especially for those who have yet to discover their holosexuality. So why don't you grab a snack, mix yourself a Shirley Temple, subscribe to my channel before you forget, and maybe grab some hollow and paint your nails while you settle in for five potentially easy nail art designs for short nailed holosexuals. If you're really new here and you don't know what the hell I've been saying so far, hollow means holographic. It just means rainbows that shift different colors in different lights. It is love, it is life. Live, breathe, hollow, okay? So brief backstory, a while ago I broke my nail in a tragic workplace accident. Then I was forced to file them down and make them all the same size. But that's okay, no worries. Short nailed people can have equally amazing nail arts as long nailed people. It's all about equality. First step, let's do this really easy heart cyclone design with a nice pink hollow glitter underneath. Yes, that baby pink hollow glitter is my cat's nail polish, shameless kitty self-promotion. Right now I'm just sponging on the hollow glitter with a makeup sponge to make it more opaque. When I'm done, I add a nice thick coat of quick dry glossy taco, that's top coat for those who don't speak simply nailogicalish yet, and let it dry for a good 15 to 20 minutes because we're gonna add nail vinyls next. One the easiest ways to do nail art for long or short nails is to use nail vinyls like these. I'm using some super cute mini heart cyclone vinyls. I put the link below in the video description box. And they actually come in two different sizes, so I'm using the slightly smaller size because I have smaller nails right now. You can do the same thing with my cat head vinyls. Menchie made those too. Star vinyls also come in different sizes, as do circular shaped cyclone vinyls. There are so many possibilities with nail vinyls, honestly, like why bother freehanding? <laughs> <laughs> with these great inventions. So all you gotta do is press it firmly down on the nail and then paint on your second color. The number one question I get when I'm doing this is are you supposed to let the nail polish dry before you peel up the vinyl? And the answer is oh god no, do not let that happen. <laughs> In order to get a clean fresh edge of the design, you gotta peel up the vinyl while the nail polish is still wet. So don't waste any time after painting on the nail polish, peel up that shit right away. And pro tip, the cyclone vinyls are my favorite ones to peel off. Add a glossy taco to seal everything in and also smooth out the different layers of nail polish you got going on. And there you go, beautiful. Hollow has my heart, how fitting. The next design is super easy, it does not involve nail vinyls, and it's called the waterfall design. I'm starting off with one coat of my current favorite black creme polish. It's a one coat wonder, it is amazing. I put the link below for this polish as well as every other polish I'm using in this video down below in the video description box. So basically for this design you just take a bunch of different random assorted colors that you think look good together. I'm putting mine on a yogurt lid. Take a very thin striping nail art brush and then you're gonna start striping each color one by one in very thin lines starting at the cuticle and just bleeding a little bit up. So that way it kind of looks like a waterfall. And I'm pretty sure that the waterfall concept and name was coined by the Nailosaurus. She's a nail art blogger maybe three or four years ago or maybe more. I'm not sure. You can go back and brighten up some of the colors if you feel like you need to. And for anyone asking, I clean my brushes in between each color using straight acetone and then I rinse it off with water. Well, <laughs> that's a lie. I don't always rinse it off with water. I'm lazy. But you should, yeah, you should do it properly. The next design is one of my personal favorites because it's so simple to do, but it looks cool as f Some of my super long time holosexuals may recognize this design from almost a year and a half ago. First, I'm just applying a white creme polish to use as a base color. You could use any color for any of these designs. Of course, substitute as you wish. Next, I'm adding a quick dry glossy taco, which is key because we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna add nail vinyls next. Yeah, so much nostalgia in this video. Next, we're gonna use some long pointy triangle nail vinyls and the shape of these does matter. You can't just use stripes 
striped nail vinyls. You'll see why. If you put down three beside each other and then pull out the middle one, push them down so they're stuck firmly on the nail. You've got three triangles that are the exact same size. Take whatever color hollow you want. It's got to be hollow, am I right? Fill in the middle triangle and the spots around the side of the nail. Peel off those vinyls right away. Don't waste time now. Peel them right away. Whoopsie. How did that happen? No worry, clean up brush with a tiny bit of acetone to the rescue and on the sides of my nail, cause yeah, that was hard to put nail polish there and not get it in your cuticle, okay? Now you're gonna add another glossy taco on top of this because we gotta let this dry and put nail vinyls on again. Now we're taking the exact same size and shape triangle nail vinyls, putting them on top of the white spots. Oh, there's a menchie hair. Press them down firmly on the nail because now we're gonna sponge on some iridescent color shifting unicorn skin flakies. This is why unicorns have gone extinct, okay? Because we skinned them all in the name of nail polish. So I'm using a makeup sponge just like I did with the glitter to sponge on the flakies so that I get more flakies on top of my nail polish. Yeah. Give me all the skins. I want all of Charlie's skins. When you're done, peel off the nail vinyls for the last time. Push over any flakies if you need to. And that's it. Add a nice thick coat of glossy taco again to seal it all in and damn, your nails look fine, girl. Next up, we're gonna do a cute little peekaboo hollow glitter, but with a flag kind of symbol on it. I, I don't know. <laughs> what country's flag is this? I'm jealous. We're using one of my favorite aqua blue holographic glitter polishes, putting it on a sponge to get the most out of it. Yeah. Sponging it on my pinky for maximum glitter payoff. Then I'm gonna add a quick dry glossy taco, let dry because <laughs> can't, can you guess what I'm gonna do next? Let me hear you say it out loud. You said it in your head, didn't you? I'm just using some skinny striped nail vinyls to kind of make an X pattern or a plus sign, depends on how you look at it. And I'm using some creme polishes to fill in opposing sides of whatever pattern this is, cause I don't know, I thought the contrast of creme versus hollow was cool. Peel up the nail vinyls while the nail polish is still wet and do any cleanup if necessary. Then seal it and finish it off with another glossy taco and you're done. And last but not least, well, maybe least, I don't know if I really like this, do you guys like this? Is a distressed holographic foil look on my thumbnail. No, not my YouTube thumbnail, my actual thumbnail. I started off with a base of aqua teal linear hollow. It is my life, I wanna go swimming in it. And then I got some really cool rainbow holographic foil, so we're gonna play with that. You're gonna need foil glue though if you wanna start playing with nail foils. You can usually buy it at the same place that you get the nail foils. I put a link down below for both of those. Using just a little bit of foil glue on the brush, I'm doing kind of a distressed dry brushing pattern. You only need to let it dry for maybe a minute. Don't let it wait too long, it just needs to be a bit tacky. Then press the foil directly on top of the nail and lift it up quickly and you can do it multiple times on different spots of the nail to get kind of a more distressed look going on. The only downside though to using metallic foils is that you can't put a quick dry glossy taco on top. So I have to use a water based top coat on top of this, which are much harder to come by, which aren't as shiny and which definitely do not dry as quick. And there we have it. Five pretty damn awesome, if I do say so myself, nail art design ideas for short nailed holosexuals. I definitely love seeing your guys' recreations. So if you do one of these designs, don't forget to tag me on Twitter so I can see. Or if you're more of an Instagram kind of person and you make video tutorials on there, you can use my Instagram feature account hashtag that's simply not logical because I go through those hashtags and share other people's awesome videos. I know my nails may not be that short, for the definition of short nails, but I really feel these designs can be done on any length, including shorter than mine are currently in this video. Whoa, guys, are you seeing that? Are you seeing the hollow foil reflection in my eyes? I mean, my nails, I mean, what? All right, guys, if you're new here and you're really liking the hollow you're seeing on this channel so far, then you should subscribe right now and join the hollow sexual kingdom. I also have a very special announcement in next week's video, <laughs> but it's gonna take me about a week to get it up, so please be patient. And with that said, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!